Empress in reverse and the Three of Cups in reverse. Is. Clarify the Three of Cups in reverse with the Empress in reverse. And Three of Wands in reverse. What is this energy, please? Show me clearly. And the Five of Wands. <coughs> yeah, um... <laughs> Yeah, this is um, Five of Wands in Reverse, Aries Energy or Fire, clarifying the Empress, and the Three of Cups in Reverse with the Three of Wands. Um, this is an invasive energy. Again, someone very domineering, someone who is controlling, someone that wants to dominate, create conflict, strife, competition. When the Five of Wands is in reverse, it represents, again, someone that's wanting to invade someone's energy. Doing whatever they can do to negotiate to keep someone from leaving them. At any rate, this energy is experiencing a lot of self-doubt and inner conflict by the idea that they don't have control over, over you or whoever this energy is here that is being divinely guided is divine timing to my right ear is ringing very crazy okay um they don't have control over this energy that is being divinely guided okay to break free of the restrictions that's imposed um through this group of individuals this, these feminine energies Someone's being led, again, to make the impossible possible, to try and heal something. In the beginning of the reading, I did say that there is this energy of someone being inspired or something coming together. Um... Moving towards something that's emotionally fulfilling. With the Five of Swords and the Page of Pentacles, this is clearly an attempt at rebuilding something, attempt at an offer of healing, um, a lot of nostalgia, wanting to be reunited with someone. And the message is coming in quick here. Someone doesn't care about restrictions anymore. Someone doesn't care about, you know, the ramifications of walking away from this situation. Someone doesn't care about being exposed. Someone's ready to expose themselves. So in doing that, it's like the Wicked Witch of the West is losing their power, their melting, right? And they can't stop you or this energy from what's coming.
and what's coming is some type of connection where there was restrictions is coming back together. Hmm. What else? We have the Three of Cups in reverse and the Empress in reverse. The Three of Wands. Tell me more about this Empress in reverse. Three of Cups energy. Yeah. Chaos. Confusion. Lies. Negative energy. Blackmail, slander. Anything possible to keep someone stuck, to keep someone from rebelling. This is a tower for this empress in reverse. This is an empress. This is an energy of a feminine energy that is unfaithful. Someone that um, is promiscuous. Someone that lies, cheats, steals. Someone that does whatever they can do to get what they want. Um, including possibly prostitution. Possibly working with people who are high-ranking officials, etc. Um, just to have that sense of control to make people do what they want them to do. Someone got in over their head with this energy, in, with this organization, this cult, this group, whatever it is, someone wants out and they've been stuck for a long time in trying to break free of this, this energy because of a lot of manipulation, control, and lies, but someone is taking the power back into their own hands by facing it. Facing it, coming to you or coming to someone and... being honest or being the bearer of the news first because they feel as though maybe that it will soften the blow because someone really wants to make something work. Someone never lost focus of their true empress or a connection that was powerful. Strong, different, unconventional. Someone's been stuck wearing a mask in theatrics and drama. But they never lost sight of of you or something that had to be left dormant for a while. But yeah, there's a lot of drama, messiness that's going on. But someone is walking away from this group, this family, this marriage, this organization. And um, they made a decision, but it's not easy. It hasn't been easy and someone is making it very difficult. Every step of the way here, 
again, there's some legal things going on, um, custody situations with children, um, scandal, lies, investigations. But um, someone is very persistent here. Someone has a plan and they've been strategizing. Okay. Yeah, Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Um, this could be some type of karmic energy um, that could be coming towards you. Um, Page of Swords in reverse. Very angry, very agitated, impulsive. No longer able to sit back and watch anymore. Ready to expose. This is again the energy of someone wanting to expose. Denounce someone, slander someone's name, character, before they come to you with the truth. This Empress in reverse energy is out for blood because they want control, they want money, they're unstable, and they don't want whoever you walked away from, whoever they are trying to hold on to, to offer you anything. And this could be someone who is a high-ranking high ranking official, someone who is supposed to be a respected leader in their community, because obviously this Empress in Reverse only goes after people who are Stable in their eyes, who has money, who has clout, status, okay? So, yeah. They want blood, they want revenge, they want to do anything that they can do to keep someone from coming towards you. So this is, again, exposure about information that they have in relation to this person, whether it's about their sexuality, whether it's about um, theft, money, This energies are upset because someone is taking matters into their own hands, making their way forward with some type of truth to try to soften the blow, maybe even exonerate themselves, disconnect themselves from this energy, and they don't want that energy. Um, being able to offer anyone anything other than them. So a really chaotic dramatic situation here. Anything else about this Empress in Reverse? Three of Cups, Three of Wands. Page of Coins. Yeah. <clears throat> Once again, we got the Page of Coins twice now. They, this could definitely be um, this Empress in Reverse energy, Three of Cups energy could represent someone who's, again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth energy, someone that's young, younger, um, someone that could possibly be immature. But I get this Page of Sword, Page of Pentacles coming out because we already have a Page of Pentacles already. Um, they know someone, this could be you as well, this Empress energy, whoever this this karmic energy is here, um, they're aware that your person or someone is wanting to reconcile, wanting to make something right, wanting to offer you something, wanting to offer an explanation, offer some type of truth, a new beginning, wanting forgiveness, wanting to work things out, and that's why this energy is ready to take action. Maybe moving towards you with some type of fast-paced communication or ready to expose your person or whoever is walking away. 
about their past. Or again, trying to do some type of energetic work, page of swords, five of wands in reverse. To keep someone in some type of illusion. To keep them from moving forward. Knight of Wands, Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, yeah. This is um, someone that's very cruel, very cruel. We have the Ace of, Ace of Pentacles, okay, which is all about a divine blessing, you know, gifts. This is someone who's very materialistic that was only in it for materialistic means. All right, this is someone who is very upset, angry, Knight of Wands in reverse, resentful, someone who is a borderline narcissistic, controlling, hypersexual, promiscuous, someone who does not know how to be vulnerable, someone who's not giving. This is someone who feels frustrated because someone, they can't control someone. This is someone who definitely has trauma. When the page of cups is in reverse, this is someone who is lacking self-love we have the nine of cups also which represents unrealistic expectations selfishness greed and the last card we have is the queen of swords okay so someone very cruel emotionally manipulative selfish materialistic shows fake love to get the coins to get the money and someone has used these tactics to keep someone stuck and trapped through blackmail and confusion I feel like your person or someone in the situation whoever it is put yourself in the, in the space wherever it fits you could be this karmic energy you could be the one that someone is coming toward or you can be this individual that is breaking free of this karmic cycle this karmic energy being led by spirit that is divine timing to break free of this drama chaos and to make the impossible possible and to break free of these restrictions and to move toward something that is true and to be truthful and to make a head over heart decision, okay? Someone has been in despair. Someone has been drinking a lot. Someone has been, you know, really regretful about losing you, about a 
choice that they've made getting involved with someone who was a user, abuser, manipulative. All someone can focus on is the three cups that have been spilt, the choices that they've made, being stuck in something karmic. Someone cries a lot, okay? Someone wasn't in their power. Stuck in chaos. Someone didn't protect you. Someone felt like um, they sold their soul. Someone feels as if they were fake. Stuck in chaos. But someone is detaching. Someone is detaching from a very codependent situation, marriage, relationship. Someone felt bound, possessed, obsessed in a very toxic situation where there's a lot of regrets. Someone chose something very wrong. They thought was something that could be emotionally fulfilling, but realized that it was just karmic. Someone met their match. Someone met their match. And not far into this connection, someone knew that they made the wrong choice here. All right, but someone is detaching. Whenever the devil card comes up in reverse, this could be a Capricorn energy, energy that someone's detaching from. Here we have Aries. We also have Scorpio. Um, someone's going to have Scorpio rising. Someone's going to have Scorpio moon. Um, but at any rate, very early on in this connection, whoever this person chose, they realized it was the wrong choice. They realized that there was a lot of deception. Selfishness, control, entitlement. And here we have the hermit. Someone felt trapped. Someone feels shame. Someone feels guilt. Someone trusted their instincts, not their intuition. Okay? Um, someone didn't trust their intuition with this individual and they were trapped. They were stuck in the dark. Stuck in the dark, but never lost sight. Of you or whatever it is that's true for them. They never lost sight of this connection. They've had tunnel vision despite the differences someone is ready to come forward and make something right or try to yeah we have the tower in reverse on the bottom of the deck so, there's already been a tower in the situation. Um, someone could be dealing with the ramifications of being exposed or um, definitely there's something that ended, a marriage, some type of um, title, someone had to step down, or even the tower in itself, which is in the past tense, but this is in reverse, was losing you. Or someone being without someone that they have deep feelings for okay um but whenever the tower is in reverse it represents denial obsession someone not being able to let go someone still trying to walk around with a false mask on 
even though they're completely naked. It's like being naked but still trying to wear a mask. You're exposed. Face it. The divine is already stepping in, into the situation. The masks are thrown away. Pride, ego, gone. Someone in the situation is still trying to manipulate, trying to control. But it doesn't matter because, again, someone's divinely guided here. To move towards the truth. We have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, someone's divinely guided to. Move forward, be truthful. Reconnect, reunite, make something right. Again, make the impossible possible. It's divine timing. It's divine timing. Let's clarify and narrow down these energies specifically. Again, we have Aquarius energy coming through strongly, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Aries, as well as Scorpio. Okay, who's this Empress energy? Who's this Empress in reverse with the Three of Cups? Um, the energy that wants to expose, the energy that is being left in this third party situation. We have Leo. Someone could have Leo and their um, Saturn and Leo or Venus and Leo. Okay, we have Taurus in reverse. Okay, so um, someone operating in the shadow. Um, again, could be Taurus, third deacon. Someone with moon in Taurus or someone with Mars in Taurus or Uranus in Taurus. Yeah, Leo coming through strongly for this Empress in Reverse energy, this third party situation. Um, definitely someone that likes attention, someone that wants clout. Um, we have Leo, second and third deacon. Okay, again, Leo and Uranus. Leo and Saturn. A lot of fixed energy, okay? Fixed energy. What else for this controlling energy of this third party energy that's being left? We have Gemini. Okay. Venus and Gemini, um, Gemini North Node or Mercury and Gemini, okay? We have Aries, 
Saturn and Aries or Venus and Aries energy coming out for this Empress in reverse, this Three of Cups energy in reverse that's creating this chaos, exposure, maybe even energetic work or magic. Someone doesn't want to be left. Someone is in exposure mode and someone is um, not learning their lessons here. Not wanting someone else to move forward, wanting to control someone with blackmail and wanting to prevent someone from moving forward and making an offer towards you or someone else. The energy of this energy that's being left or is losing control because someone's taking control back by exposing themselves. Someone is wearing a false mask. Someone's not learning their lessons here. There's been a tower, but someone is still very emotionally unstable, mentally unstable, aggressive, wanting to cling on to someone's money, wanting to ruin someone. Again, Taurus, Libra, Aries, possibly Scorpio. We have a Gemini, second deacon, Aries, third deacon, um, Venus, Saturn, and Aries, Mercury, Mars, North Node, and Gemini, Leo, strong, okay, um, second, third, Deacon, Leo, um, Uranus and Leo, Saturn and Leo, Venus and Leo, and of course we have Taurus, Moon, Uranus and Taurus and Mars and Taurus for that Empress energy. Let's clarify who this energy is. Someone that made the wrong choice, okay? Crying over spilt milk. Someone who was not in their power but is working hard to detach. Someone who sees the way, feels the way. Um, has made a decision to walk away from a third party situation, from a marriage, from a high level commitment, someone who possibly could be being exposed or being denounced in some way because of some sort of actions, negative actions that they have taken in the past, but someone is trying to detach from their old ways, someone is trying to bring forth a message. Um, of starting again um, someone is definitely trying to come in quickly to nip something in the bud to soften the blow to face the music because there is a strong desire to bring something into balance someone has a lot of nostalgia someone wants to reconnect wants to reunite, wants to be forgiven. And they're being divinely guided to move towards a soulmate or a divine connection, an important connection, okay? To make the impossible possible. Possibly with a Sagittarius because Frank Sinatra was a Sag, okay? Jupiter is behind this energy, okay? Someone sees the vision, they feel the way they see the way, and they're ready to bridge the gap. In between the differences, to bring something back to life that was dormant. For that energy, we have, um, again, Sagittarius energy, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, namely Virgo, we have Aquarius, and 
and Scorpio. Let's see who this energy is, whether it's you or whether it's someone who's coming towards you. We have Gemini, okay? Someone could have Mercury in Gemini, but just Mercury energy for sure. This is someone who is a thinker. This is someone who is highly intelligent. This could be a lawyer. This could be, again, we have, this is someone who's definitely a high-ranking official, you know, um, someone who's walking away from a third-party situation, someone is moving toward you or someone that they have a deep connection with, okay? Um, again, this is someone who overthinks. This is someone who maybe thinks for a living. This is someone who is a writer or, again, a lawyer or someone who works in communications. This is someone who is not overly emotional, but someone who is, again, very mercurial. Okay, this could be a Gemini. Again, someone with a lot of Mercury, um, a lot of planets in Mercury. I'm sorry, a lot of mercurial energy, but someone with Mercury in Gemini or maybe Mercury in Virgo, okay? Give me more about this person or this energy. We have Taurus, okay, in reverse. Again, this could be a Taurus energy that is restricting this individual from moving forward, you know? Um, but this could be someone that's moving towards someone with um, a Venus in, in Taurus, um, or this could definitely be someone, again, That is focused on making something right. Venus energy is about making something right in love or in finances, recovering, recuperating. Again, taking matters into their own hands by offering the truth before they're exposed. Who else? What else can we get about this individual energy that's coming through, that's wanting to make things right? Neptune. Could be a Pisces, all right? But this is showing that there could be definitely some darkness surrounding this individual or that they had to work their way through a lot of darkness okay this is in the inverted position so that is more like the shadow aspects of neptune um illusion delusion this could represent energy work spell work um moon dark moon energy okay so someone had to really heal and really move through some challenging energies in order to make their way. And we have Saturn, yeah. A lot of karma that someone had to experience with this, the choices that they made. A lot of lessons learned here. Possibly um, some dark energy surrounding a Capricorn or a Pisces, maybe someone with Pisces moon or um, Pisces rising or someone with Capricorn rising, Capricorn moon. That's the dark energy that they had to move through. And here we have Mars. Okay. So we have Aries, possibly... Um, Scorpio but again this is just tower this energy is revolting rebelling 
fighting to overcome and make their way to the truth to you or to whoever um, this energy is. get one more we have cancer okay so the, this energy could um be third deacon cancer a cancer leo cusper but um someone that may have mars in cancer or neptune in cancer Someone is like flying their way out of the dark with a torch. It has something to do with the maternal energy, but someone is definitely trusting their intuition and moving toward you. And expect the unexpected. Expect the unexpected. It's been a difficult journey, okay? I feel like I want to find out what it is that this Empress in Reverse, Three of Cups energy, someone is walking away from the Empress in Reverse, Three of Cups energy, a lot of infidelity, a codependent marriage relationship. Um, a cult, an organization, family. Because they no longer want to be blackmailed. They want to take control. Maybe even expose themselves. And that is why someone is very angry. They're losing control. So let's find out what it is that they want to expose. Or what it is that someone is going to end up telling the truth about. Before we end the reading. Okay. I'm gonna use my combination deck to find out what it is that's being exposed. What truth is coming out? What does this Empress and Reverse want to bring forward about your person or about this person? Four of Swords. Okay, so the Empress in Reverse, Three of Cups energy in Reverse. That doesn't want someone's ships to come in that wants to continue blackmailing and controlling someone that has tunnel vision for you or you could be the empress energy or you could be the one that's you know that's in this high ranking position that's about to be exposed or that's about to bring forth the truth but what's about to be exposed or what you, this energy is about to reveal is that there's some type of information in relation to an investigation that could have something to do with someone's death. Okay? Someone could have died. Someone could have caused someone's death. Someone could um, have committed murder. Someone could have been in connection to some type of investigation. Someone could have been... Um, what's the uh, term? When someone is not the culprit or the person that did it, but they were there or they were in connection with it, all right, but what's about to be exposed or what someone is about to come forward with has something to do with someone passing away okay possibly this could even have something to do with inheritance or money or something that was done for money or inheritance or something that was done to take someone's position you know forging someone's will or 
something of that nature. Now, with the whole Bill Clinton thing that came out in the beginning of the reading, I am getting something to do with sex or something to do with, you know, this Empress in reverse, along with this Three of Cups, of course, like I said, a lot of infidelity, a lot of um, overindulgence. This energy will do anything for money. This could have something to do with some type of polygamous relationship or multiple people fighting for something, but this could have something to do with someone in cahoots with this Empress in reverse energy. A third party situation. Someone thought they were gotten to something for love, but all along it was all a plan to possibly gain money through someone's life insurance or some type of fraud or illegal money, money laundering or something of that nature. This Empress in reverse energy with the Three of Cups has information regarding this. And this Empress has used it to, to the best of their ability very soon after this all happened, it's been hell in this situation. And your person or whoever this person is is trying to break free. And they finally found the key, which is be truthful, face the music. And remember, guys, this is like all levels, okay, um, scales. So this could be on like a high scale of what I just said, or it could be something minor like just cheating or just... Um, some type of petty theft, you know, but take it how it resonates. But this Empress in Reverse energy has been able to use this as blackmail. But someone is be able to is able is ready to be truthful. There's something that's gonna come out in relation to someone's death or in relation to someone's inheritance or some type of scandal or trap that this Empress in Reverse set for someone that maybe thought they were going in it for love, um, maybe done something to a piece this empress in reverse that will lead to someone's demise or something of that nature okay wow bottom of the deck we have the lovers so again a choice was made all right now both of these people in this lover's card is wearing a mask so someone may have thought they were doing something out of love here, but they were fooled. It's not a soul. This is not like a divine connection. This was like a karmic connection. Or someone may have left behind a powerful connection and chose something very karmic, or someone again met their match, someone got in too deep and spiraled out of control. For someone that they really didn't know, okay? That they really didn't know. And that's why someone is um, about to bring something up that's been dormant for a while. Someone has had tunnel vision for a connection all the while and someone is ready to bridge the differences make something right if they can it may not be possible but someone is willing to try tell me more about what's about to be exposed what this empress of reverse wants to expose to you or to someone the community or what this um person that's in this high level um position is ready to reveal Okay, we have the six of six of cups with the lovers, the king of pentacles, 
and the Queen of Swords. Okay, so what's about to be revealed is that there definitely was some type of corruption that could have involved death, maybe even murder, maybe even, you know, uh, some type of corruption surrounding someone's death in the family, okay? Um... We have, okay, so that we know, this is what we have, the Three of Cups. This is Scorpionic energy. This is about someone that wants to reunite, someone that's having a lot of nostalgic thoughts about a connection. Okay, this is the lovers. Now, if you look at this card, this is not a typical lover's card, all right? There's someone off in the distance wearing red, okay? That's passion, that's desire. This is the true divine connection. And this is what someone chose, all right? They settled thinking that they were getting something divine, a soulmate, something that was blessed or good, and they ended up losing something that they are nostalgic about now um something that they let go something that they lost that was true that was powerful and here they chose this manipulative codependent karmic energy They met their match. This energy is not perfect, but they met their match with this karmic. They have went down a really dark road. Um, and King of Pentacles lost everything or on the brink of losing everything. Definitely the King of Pentacles represents the inability to manifest, repressed emotions, possibly abuse, mentally, physically, verbally. That can include blackmail, that can include being abused by your own faded actions that you can't break free from. Okay? And someone is stuck in nostalgia about what they've lost and they wanted to come forward, but they feel that it's too late. That you, Aquarius, fixed energy. My queens are always fixed energy. And that would be you, Aquarius. Feminine energy, or anyone embodying this energy, will cut them out. That is too late. This sword is down. You know the truth. The Queen of Swords has a heart of gold. But it's been broken. It's been hurt. And it's been frozen. 
So the Queen of Swords protects their heart. In this case, this Queen of Swords knows the truth. There's something that this Queen of Swords knows and someone feels and fears that they've lost what really matters for good. They're stuck in their feelings and um, you or whoever this energy is coming toward is unbothered by all of this chaos. Even if the karmic energy that's attached to your person comes um, before that, before they can even, you know, be truthful about what's happened themselves, I feel like you or whoever this Queen of Swords is is going to be unbothered. Queen of Swords is highly in intellectual. Can separate emotions from facts, from decisions. I feel like this Queen of Swords is balanced enough to make the right choice. But that is what is going to be exposed. For sure. Um, there's scandal. There's something to do with um, an investigation or someone's death. Scandal, sex, lies. And someone wants to come forward and express their feelings, express all that they've been through, all that they've lost, how things have been without you. And they want to bring in the truth. <sighs> they want to bring in the truth about why they weren't in their power in the past you know, maybe about what they've lost, how someone had control over them, over their finances, over what they can say, what they could expose, what they could share. But they want to also say how much they... what... to be vulnerable with you and how much they love you and how so many moons has passed that they haven't forgotten you. Um, you're their wish fulfillment. They see you as their divine partner, their soulmate, and they never stop loving you. And There's nothing that could prevent them ever again from ever not being vulnerable with you. Okay, they let differences stand in between the two of you, but they never lost sight of how you made them feel, your truth. In your love okay so obviously you're gonna use your discernment about this but this is insight into what um, is about to be exposed or about to be revealed Whew. get some a potential outcome here. 
potential outcome for Aquarius. <clears throat> we have ace of fear okay ace of swords all right so yeah more and the ace is always a divine blessing from the universe of course when the ace of swords is in reverse ace of fear in this deck but ace of swords represents chaos confusion lies dark spiritual work being done okay investigations more about everything we've been talking about okay for you guys it says fear keeps the soul in such doubts that it has little reason to live happily because it never enjoys and is always afraid yeah so this is just definitely saying like Someone in the situation wanted to control someone with the truth, and it worked. Fear. It binds you. It controls you, but someone is taking that control into their own hands, and they're coming forward with the truth and trying to break free of the chaos. Potential outcome, please. Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this is just more drama, um, exposure, threats of exposure. Page of Wands in reverse represents someone who's confused about their sexuality or someone who is very immature, someone who is impulsive. Again, immature. This could represent something to do with children. There could be something coming out about children, okay? A lot of chaos. There's someone who wants to interfere with divine timing. Page of Wands in reverse. It says, Yeah, definitely someone who is, um, very arrogant not learning their lessons even though someone's willing to take matters into their own hands expose themselves trying to break free of some type of blackmail or controlling situation someone is still trying to find a way through black magic energetic work whatever to keep someone bound to them stuck to them page of jealousy page of wands in reverse jealousy never was sure of argus and of his cunning eyes until the footsteps with the name of Lo were given to it. So someone is being very cunning still trying to find a way to infiltrate, trying to find a way to manipulate or keep someone stuck from moving forward someone just cannot let go of control here someone is still going to be trying to find a way to prevent someone from bringing the truth to you I feel like you are here feeling no ways about it I'm bothered at peace but prepared to weigh the situation, okay? Let's get one more for potential outcome. Yeah, somebody is just so mad. Someone is angry as hell, okay? Um, because they don't have control anymore. Someone is willing to
defame themselves or bring themselves down to expose what someone else did, probably at their suggestion. Okay. This Empress in Reverse, Three of Cups energy is angry. It's like, again, the Wicked Witch of the West that's melting, that's losing control. This person is being left. This marriage is coming to an end. Someone came into a situation and met their match, got involved in something that was very corrupt and was blackmailed and used and abused. And now they're stepping out, they're breaking free. Someone's willing to expose themselves to break free of this, this, this really dark energy here. And this energy, basically, the potential outcome is that someone is just going to continue finding ways to manipulate, um, continue trying to control, to expose, or to do some type of energetic work to keep someone stuck. But unfortunately, with the chariot energy, this is an energy that can't be stopped. You can try to do things to block. You can try to do things to halt. But that is powerful major arcana energy. All right, that's powerful energy that even if it's stopped, even if it's halted or delayed, it's going to keep revving up and eventually the chariot will burst forward. Okay. Um, again, the chariot and the rider weight, you know, it has the duality, right? It's about finding balance. It's about someone that's even, if they're not moving towards you, they're moving toward trying to break free of this karmic cycle trying to find balance within themselves, their masculine and feminine energies, their light and their shadow. This could represent a connection, okay, where there are differences. Chariot, the white horse, the black horse, differences in race, age, creed, spirituality. Ultimately, there's something that's coming together that's powerful that this energy can't stop no matter what they are willing to expose, no matter what they're willing to do, all right? But this energy is angry, mad as hell, all right? The chariot in reverse represents doubt. It represents frustration, anger, rage. This could have something to do with some type of plans or trip or something that's being interfered with or someone's car being interfered with. There is something here that is happening where someone is just not learning the lessons, still continuing to try to block someone because they're angry and rageful, but they don't have control. Someone is just doing way too much, and I feel like they're about to crash. There's going to be an ending. That there could be a crash. There could be something that happens. But ultimately, figuratively speaking, someone is doing way too much. And the chaos is going to turn into a collision, okay? Something has to give because someone is doing way too much here, okay? Way too much. You can't stop what's divine. Apparently, there's something here that is um, is destined. We had the lovers show up three times. This is like the lover's card, okay? In my oracle deck, we also had the lover's card come out in another deck. If I can find it. way too many cards out yeah okay 
so you, you can't stop it but someone is is definitely doing what they can do to try to stop something they're doing too much they're going to be stopped see the chariots in, re in reverse they're going to be stopped they're going to be stopped because someone realized they made the wrong choice and they're moving toward the truth let's get your oracle as we end the reading Aquarius you and Pisces have a lot going on, and your readings have been super extended. Okay, that's two cards. Let's just get one card for Aquarius, please. The end of the reading. One card. Forgiveness. Wow. We have forgiveness. Wow, this card says a lot. All right. Looks like we have someone there that is, you know, um, in the military or someone that, you know, has a weapon that's being forceful, controlling. Excessive force, control. Wow, this reminds me of this Queen of Swords energy. Someone that's just sitting in their truth. Someone knows the truth. Whatever's being exposed, whoever's coming forward, you or whoever this Queen of Swords energy is, is ready to decide, ready to use their discernment, ready to make a decision, ready to make a head over heart decision possibly, or a heart over head decision. But what is at the top of this reading and with this divine advice as we leave you with, it's about forgiveness here, whether it's forgiveness of yourself, or forgiveness of someone else, whether this is reconciliation or the wrapping up of a cycle. Okay, let's see what it says for forgiveness for Aquarius. Yes. Okay or process of stopping the feelings of anger or resentment towards someone for an offense, flaw, or mistake. Wow. The keywords for this card, okay, came out upright for you. Vulnerability, victimhood, violence. Someone in the situation did suffer violence or some type of abuse, emotional um, whether it's verbal or physical, 
you know, we did have the energy of someone possibly being involved with some type of scandal or maybe someone even, you know, being a victim of a murder or dying or someone coming into a situation um, and getting involved with something that was way over their head um, for some type of personal gain ghost of the past someone's haunted by something okay and they're about to take matters into their own hands and possibly speak their truth okay i am getting the energy that there is someone here that is again that empress in reverse three of cups in reverse that is very upset very upset very angry about losing control and they're not stopping someone is emotionally unstable and shouldn't have weapons for sure but um yeah someone's haunted okay there's sorrow, abuse, toxic relationship, trauma, past life repression, I'm sorry, past life regression, reflection, a perpetrator, death, martyr, shadow work, self-inquiry, healing, objective, heart space, courage, self-interest, survival, memories, prisoner. Someone's a prisoner of their own mind. Someone's a prisoner of a relationship. Someone's been a prisoner of blackmail. Okay. Someone who passed on could be trapped because there's been unresolved truth. Okay. If this was in reverse, some of the key words for the shadow aspects of this card would be Pandora's box. All right. Someone met their match. Someone opened the box that they should never have opened. Police brutality, oppression. Patriarchy, slavery, racism, sexism, fear, a curse. Okay. All right, Aquarius. In the blocked position, okay. Fixating on the negative interpretations of past experiences and trauma is keeping you immobile in the present and held hostage as a victim of the past, all right? If this was in reverse, it would express the shadow aspects of the fact that there are oppressive forces at work, but by actualizing your innate powers, you won't fall victim to them. Your love is stronger than any weapon all right, your love is stronger than any weapon. I feel like in this situation, whoever the Queen of Swords is, their love has been their weapon. Their love has been their weapon. And it's been their protection. And that love has pulled someone out of a situation and someone is making their way um, out of something very challenging. But there are oppressive forces as that are still at work here this card coming out upright this is the message for you Aquarius okay or the cross watcher you will view experiences and events from a, from an objective and loving perspective as you decide to break free of the hold that the past and even higher authorities try to have on your mind all right this is whether it's forgiving yourself or forgiving the circumstances or forgiving someone that's coming towards you understand that you are equipped to make the proper decisions okay whatever it is whatever the differences is understand that you're equipped to forgive and in this forgiveness, there is healing, there is freedom, and there is this energy of letting go whatever's coming towards you, whether you accept it or not, understand that it is an energy that is allowing you to decide, allowing you to trust your intuition, to find the balance between 
the heart and the mind. Make the right decision for you. Trust in your heart yeah, and know that to it you will guide you or stop you. Right Whoever this energy is that is hell bent on winning, creating chaos, the truth can't be stopped. And either way, whatever you choose, you, you can't lose. You can't lose. Use your discernment, but on the bottom of the deck. We have the king of love or the king of cups. This is someone who is balanced, someone who makes fair decisions. Someone that cares deeply, but isn't thrown off by emotional decisions and on top of this ten of hope is like the ten of pentacles whether you reconcile whether you make things right whether you decide that it's time to forgive and let go this is a guarantee that there is beauty coming in for you. There is stability coming in for you. There is happiness. Everything you ever wanted and ever wished for. Everything that you've worked hard for.